Hello and welcome to our map making video. In this video, we make a cave that leads to an old or ruined keep's basement. As part of the Morgana update, Dungeon Alchemist have improved the speed in which you can raise and lower the terrain. This is amazing, thank you Dungeon Alchemist. This building would be the lowest level of the keep or castle's undercroft, where it stored supplies in case of a siege. We use the sand colour to map out the pathway. This makes it easier when we start terraforming. Then, with the new improvement, the walls are added in. This is a secret area, but stay tuned as we'll be coming back to that later in the video. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! We play around with a terrain tool to give a cool jagged effect. This looks even better when it's all the same texture. The building's walls are removed to show the room is bigger However, we would switch to a different map once the players got to this point, to show the true reflection of the room's size. The tunnel could have been created by the keep's original owners, as an escape route if they ever came under attack. The tunnel ends with a tight squeeze into a natural cave. Players could be asked to take a dexterity check to pass by, unless they want to brute force their way through the rock. We created the map with the idea that goblins or kobolds originally dug underneath to create an encampment. This is why it looks more like a hive style base. One night they could have staged an attack on the keep by breaking down the door to the basement. Since then, it has been boarded up and items placed in front of it from the other side. Maybe the current owners are unaware of this route or simply cannot afford to replace it. A reason the players are here could be that they need to get inside the keep, which is guarded to collect something quietly, or perhaps they need to lower the drawbridge for their hirer. However, it's protected by Insert bad monster here. Maybe the local necromancer has summoned up all the guards killed in the initial siege, and they are patrolling, so players need to find a different way in. We have added pockets of water that could be from a leaking ceiling. Maybe the keep is surrounded by a moat, and the tunnelling has led to a few minor leaks. What likes dark damp areas? Fungi! We add in several varieties of these. It could be that the goblins were cultivating them to live off. Add in a sprinkling of dirt and we have the perfect buffet. This is a public service announcement. Please don't eat random mushrooms from inside a cave. Not all are safe. Each one can be eaten but some only once. A tent is added. This would have been for the chief goblin or chief kobold. All the others would get loose bedding or hammocks. Second level is added to the map. A trap is placed before the basement door. The spikes holding the evidence of those who previously failed their dice rolls. A makeshift bridge is added for players to cross, which is held down by large stones. You may want to add in an ever-burning torch amongst the spikes, so the players are aware of the risk. The keep's door is changed to a broken wall the goblins broke through. This has now been boarded up from the inside. We use the same lighting trick we used in our cave battle map. I'll put the link in the top right corner if you want to go and watch that after. With the Morgana update, another nice feature is that you can change the colour of items. So red mushrooms become multicoloured.
we adjust the map lighting. Then change the luminescent colouring. We felt the yellow worked better in this instance. To the secret room. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! The room entrance is later covered with loose rocks. A player with a good perception might spot the difference in the rock face. If they do venture in, they'll find a number of questionable items. We have added a shrine to an evil god where a demon basin sits. If a player gives up blood, they may receive an item or a blessing. If they deface or damage the statue, they may receive a curse. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please do hit that like button to give us that warm fuzzy feeling. As always, if you would like to use these battle maps, please consider supporting us on Patreon. All of the links are in the description below. Take care of yourself. May your dice rolls ever be in your favour.